Uh, today I'm going to uh, teach you how to put a favicon on your website. Now a favicon is the little thing at the top that here that is your site identity. Um, if you know what the WordPress one looks like it's uh, kind of generic and rather boring. So I have three websites here. This this one here has got the, that as a favicon. This one here has got that which isn't really clear enough but um, and this one is the money site or um, and that's got a little money bag. So that's the favicon. So it just makes the site a little more professional. Uh, now how to do that. Um, now this should be almost inbuilt into WordPress 4.2 and above. Uh, on the dashboard uh, for here I will go to appearance, customize, I don't think that went to customize, customize and we're looking for site identity. Here it comes. This is the template I'm using here. Um, each template should be very similar. Um, site identity. We'll do this again. And this is the um, favicon that appears in the browser at the top. Now we can remove that and, and or change it. It's just an image. Um, basically if you change it or you um, get a new one you're just basically uploading a PNG or JPG image. Okay, let's try it on this one. Uh, appearance, customize. As I've already set these, uh, I'm just showing you how to do it. I just s I see a lot of sites without uh, favicons, and it's a small point, but it just it just makes it nicer. Um, now we're looking again for. Um, appearance oh and this one it's it, it's in this one it's um under site title tagline and logo which is okay and again it's got the same thing remove or change image i think most of them are site identity but that one is a little bit different let's try it on this one appearance customize waiting for it customize and here we go we're looking there we go this one's site identity as well most of the time it will be under site identity there we go remove or change image well, if you re if that image will be will be shown in the top of the th of the uh, browser now i mean any person looking at your site will automatically see a WordPress generic um, and yeah I mean it just it just brands it a little bit more um, makes it less obvious that it's a WordPress site so anyway that's the walkthrough on that and um, uh, thank you for watching